Hi folks, Paul Spick at Kelly Sport, going to take you through a quick walkthrough in the 35 Sport Coupe from Regal. Uh, this is a model a lot of folks are familiar with. It's been around, uh, oh, around eight years now. This is a 2020. There's some definite changes in the model years. Uh, they've really hit their stride with this boat and it's the best selling cruiser that Regal's ever made brand wide. Uh, very popular boat for a number of reasons. Uh, features. This boat in an under 40 foot package has more features that are usable. Uh, than anything else out there. There's a lot of ooh, wow, uh, things that look good in showrooms, but this boat is absolutely packed. So just walking through the swim platform, number of features back here. One of the biggest that they brought out in the last few years is this drop down swim platform. I'm gonna go ahead and run that down for you guys. It'll take you to about 18 inches deep. Uh, really nice place to hang out on the boat. And then our complete sun pad, this will rotate in and out. So we've got a boat you know, in about a 35, 36 foot package, we can use this in different forms depending on how you're using the boat. I'm running it back towards me, so we're gaining swim platform space. We lose a little bit of cockpit. If we're using the cockpit of the boat, we slide that back. And then on top of that, your seating is dynamic. You can bring it back here to, you know, regular seat, uh, chaise lounge, or all the way flat, uh, just depending on, again, how you're using the boat. And that's all on actuators. Uh, so we can slide that in and out. Same thing with that swim platform. Uh, really user friendly. These are features that people actually use on the water. Uh, you'll see a lot of stuff in boats. It's awesome for a showroom. It's something to talk about at a boat show, but these are things that you'll actually use out on the water and enjoy. Okay, so moving into the cockpit of the boat. This boat has been out for a number of years, so a lot of people are really familiar with the layouts, but a few things has made it popular. Double wide helm seat up front, conversational seating that brings people to the cockpit of the boat with the captain so you're not just driving the boat and everybody else is riding brings you into the conversation this is a nice big cockpit as well uh, easily accommodates eight uh, and that's comfortably beverage station here refrigerator also cockpit ac and heat uh, don't see that in a lot of boats in this footage it's really a nice feature uh, especially today it's you know a balmy 45 degrees we've got this running at about 75 it's very comfortable uh, you could also use your enclosures here, they'll zip in and out, so they're pretty darn easy as well. Uh, going back up here, ton of storage, great use of space. We've got table back there, that mounts at the aft of the boat. Uh, really, just a great day boat setup. This isn't a cruiser that's just, uh, you know, an overnight or just a day boat. I would say it's three quarters day boat and a quarter overnight. We'll get into the cabin itself, still very usable, but the features up here really make it nice. Uh, Definitely not one to overlook is the retractable hardtop. Uh, one of the few boats in its category and one of the first that ever integrated it. Push button, slides back. That's gonna allow us to open up to that center walkthrough uh, that we mentioned earlier. Really nice access to the bow of the boat. You can open that up. Uh, beautiful day, keep it open. Boating sun and indoor sport, enjoy it. Day like today, I'm gonna shut that, turn on the heat uh, and be a lot more comfortable out there. So here we are in the cabin of the boat. Um, again, not only a day boat, but you can do some overnighting on here as well. The boat has the capacity to sleep six. Our aft will fill uh, as this front bed. Inner spring on top, and then this kicks out. It's on an actuator as well, just like our seating up top. Um, good amount of headroom to move around, and then a full vacuum flush and shower combo in there. Uh, really, that's probably your most usable feature uh, that we see folks use. They like that, like an air conditioner down here. Um, and then a cockpit AC up on top. But really a nice layout for both day boating and you can do some overnight as well, but you're not pigeonholed either way. Just wanted to give a quick walk around the exterior of the boat. A few things to point out. Uh, this boat does have a center walkthrough uh, in the windshield right there. That'll open up center. You can retract the hard top, let you get nice access to the bow of the boat. Nice stainless Lumar anchor up there uh, with remote at the dash. You do have the foot controls up top. Uh, we mentioned the center walkthrough, but there's also a side walkthrough on both port and starboard. Uh, really easy to get up to the bow and enjoy that. This boat also has the uh, sun pad that goes on the bow as well that will recline as well just like a chaise lounge uh, that you're used to a pool deck or anything like that all right folks so we're going to get out of the water now uh, see how the boat handles run ride characteristics a few things to point out uh, this boat is joystick control as well uh, 
uh, Volvo Penta has done an awesome job of integrating this. They also have the Volvo Penta glass screen, so that's done in conjunction with Garmin. Um, all of your diagnostics, inf engine information read through there. It's all fully integrated, um, something I've touched on other boats. It's not piecemeal. Uh, this was specifically developed uh, between Garmin and Volvo to accommodate you know, what they want to see as far as gauge clusters, information they can give you, diagnostics. You can go into your home screen here and through this you can read any alarms that happen here uh, with the system. It's been really pretty user friendly and it takes care of a lot of those quick phone calls that go, oh well, you know, we had a little temp overheat, make sure there's nothing obstructing that or we need to send somebody out with an impeller, um, whatever it may be. It's a lot easier to save the day, get you out boating and it's actually a usable part of that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this boat up on plane. Uh, one of the best features about it really is the hull. Uh, it's been around for a number of years, not just in this model, but previous, and it's been kept around for a reason. Uh, very smooth running and rougher water, and it really lets the boat get up and run, uh, even though we're pushing something like six tons. So we'll go ahead and get this one going. I want you to watch the bow on here. That's it. We're going to go ahead and trim our boat out, get those drive trim up, and now just let it run. Uh, this is pushed by a pair of Volvo 300s. The 5.3 liters have uh, been around for a number of years. They are closed loop cooling system engine, and they also have a quick drain, uh, so really easy winterize if you do plan on using the boat in some of those marginal months, uh, March, November, times like that, very, very usable. Uh, we're running at 3,900 RPM, uh, just a shade over 24. I'm gonna go ahead and open the boat up a little bit for you guys, and then we'll put it through a turn. These are higher revving engines uh, than a traditional VA350, uh, or your big blocks that maybe you're used to uh, in years past. So they will run quite a bit higher RPMs, but they're extremely smooth, and their mid-range punch is pretty impressive. I mean, it'll make the boat go, uh, and they really don't have to work hard at all. I've got the boat trimmed out a little bit there. We've got the bow porpoising, so I want to go ahead and trim my drives down and let that hull do the work. We've done that. Nice flat attitude to the boat, very easy running. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a little bit of tab on that side, flatten this out, but really just an easy boat to run in general. And it performs well in rough water uh, and it's fun to run in smooth as well. We're gonna go ahead and make a nice starboard turn here, check our spots. Really good visibility when they sweep that hard top back as well. You don't lose a lot of uh, vision at all. One thing that Regal does across the board, these boats just perform well, especially in their cruisers. They were one of the first to really push uh, big stern drives, and this is why. Uh, very nice handling, very nice performance. Zero feedback into the wheel. The boat holds plane. Uh, you're not constantly jockeying the throttle, keeping the boat up. Uh, really pretty much effortless. So I just wanted to point out uh, a couple of things here running the boat. I've got the boat trimmed up nicely. We're running about 36 miles an hour, just shy of 40 now. Uh, long story short, the boat has a nice, easy canter. It's not a banging, slapping ride. It's got a great entry, does a good job in chop. Uh, we can also bring that down. I know a lot of folks, uh, they don't like to see that bow moving at all. We can trim that in, but I just, I really like the way this boat handles chop, handles waves. Uh, it's got to move and you can run quickly, but it's not that pounding banging ride that's uncomfortable uh, Definitely one that shines out here like in the Ozarks rough weekends holidays. It just gets around So we're gonna go ahead and cross a wake here uh, Taking it at a pretty aggressive angle, but the entry of this boat Just does an awesome job of rolling right over that uh, also the boat has a nice broad beam for the length. 
you don't get a lot of that pitch side to side. Uh, again, that entry really handles chop well. This hole is an excellent one. Uh, and again, with a coupe, a lot of times you give up visibility. This glass cockpit allows for great vision all the way through the turn. Guys, I appreciate you taking the time uh, to watch this video. It's certainly something I enjoy. I hope it shows through the video. The performance of these boats is, is excellent. Uh, we definitely invite you guys to get out of the water with us down at the marina. Um, we keep demos in the water. So I know a video sometimes is a good primer, but uh, the proof is actually getting out there. And both myself and Charlie that worked out at the marina uh, would love to see you down there. We get a kick out of it. And uh, again, thank you for your time.